going on everybody this is ufc 5 been looking forward to this one for a long time league of mediocrity um we're just gonna hop right in we've been looking forward to this game for about a year now we're going to uh start a new career as leroy morris as we always do in the men's division. I don't remember it. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. So we got to gotta pick which fighter we're going to be. We're going to be MMA for uh, kind of just an all-around guy. Can I pick, like... So it doesn't look like we can pick any perks or styles. It looks like it's just the generic. That's fine. So we're going to be MMA because we're probably going to lean more towards stand-up game. But having some ground game would be helpful too. Plus a, a good start in health. Have a little bit of a stronger chin. Be a little bit beneficial for us. be Leroy Morris, like I said. Well, let's see what kind of nicknames are available. Right, first off, we're going to be like 255. And 6, 3. Be 18. No, you want to pick me, but how about this voice? You're looking at a future UFC champ. <laughs> that voice. This could All be right. your new fighter's voice. Yeah, I think that's the voice there. Oh, nicknames right up here. All right, um, we're gonna go to T because we usually like the in front of it. Oh, I like that. The problem. Yeah. yeah. And our name is going to be Leroy the Problem. All right, this is what looks, winning sounds like. Looks good. ready to crush some bones obviously gonna play on hard simulation hey yo we got some backyard brawling fighting
Let me guess. Your coach doesn't know you out here doing this. Hey, I gotta do what I gotta do, right? Then do what you gotta do. Hey! Hey! Do you want to say something to the stream? Yeah, I got something for you. You're looking at a future UFC champ. Yeah! Remember that. Let's go! Two fighters are ready to go here at the Backyard Battles. In this corner, they've been making a lot of noise around here. Give it up to the kid from Davis MMA. And standing on the other side of the cage, we got the Backyard Brawl. <laughs> the Backyard Brawl. Y'all ready for some action? Let's make some fucking noise. Are you ready to fight? Let's fight! Coach is right. You probably shouldn't be fighting here because these cats are not on your level. That KO is gonna blow up. Everybody was recording that. Damn. Oh, Coach doesn't see that. <laughs> He's definitely gonna see that. Boom! That's it, right? But why is he there? Look, is that Alex Perea? No, 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 no. That's Brandon Moreno. No, I'm losing it. That's Michael Chandler right there. I know exactly who this is. It's that social media sensation whose coach told him explicitly not to do backyard battles anymore. Am I right? Come on, coach. I told you already. That was the last time I was oh, going to sign oh, up. Oh, I that. know. I know it's the last time. I know it's the last time because we're going to start training you for legit fights starting today. Hold on. Did you just say legit oh, fights? Oh, oh, look at him. All excited. Like I'm doing you a favor. Tell you what. Don't thank me yet. We got to take your training to a whole other level. So, go get changed, warm up, meet me by the bag. Oh, you got it, coach. All right. Hey, hey, hey. Social media sensation. No high fives, okay? Get your ass changed, warm up, meet me by the bags. Jesus, fucking kid. What are we going to do? I don't know. There you are, the kid sensation. <laughs> What's up? Listen, I'm not gonna lie to you, that knockout was pretty impressive. That's a natural ability, but that backyard brawler was no defensive wizard, right? You could be fighters like that just by throwing the same shit over and over. Against higher level opposition requires more skill, right? Yeah. Okay, so let's go over some basics on the bag and get you warmed up. Yes, sir. Right. All right.
work. <laughs> you feel that? Shit burns, right? Now you see how important it is to manage a stamina? If you just keep throwing non-stop, eventually your attacks will get slower and weaker. Now bags don't hit back, sparring partners do. So keep that in mind while we work on some stuff in the octagon. People like to say defense wins championships, but in MMA, we know it also keeps you from getting knocked the fuck out. So that's exactly what we're gonna focus on. Defense. Blocking strikes, using head movement and footwork to avoid taking damage. Cool? Yeah, I got it, coach. Good stuff. Let's go. Let's work on defense today. Don't let this guy hit you. Good, good, good. Hey, you notice how your arms get beat up when you block a few shots in a row, right? That's when your opponent will start striking right through your block. When that happens, you gotta move your head, move your feet, get space. Give your body and your arms time to recover. You're right, I can't just cover up. Makes it hard to see shots coming in too. Right, but remember, evasive movements also drain your stamina. So, whatever it is, attacking, blocking, lunging, slipping, you have to be judicious. A fight happens in spurts. Five minutes is a long time. Always look for opportunities to recover. You got that? Yes, sir. Okay, let's get another round in there. See if you can put it all together. It's like you're ready for some real action. Now remember, it's real easy to get caught up in a moment and let the adrenaline take over in a fight. Stay focused, stay in control. I wanna see you using your knowledge in this fight. Got it? Got it, stay focused, stay in control. Good, all right, I'll see you there. Get some rest. All right, coach, I'll see you there. Are you ready? Gets the hell Are you ready? Is. And let's go! Yeah.
damage of that face. This is why we play. work in a fight the other night, okay? But we were fortunate your opponent wasn't a big thrown on the ground because, let's face it, we didn't spend much time in their training. So that's where we're going to live for the foreseeable future. Let's we'll start with some takedown defense and getting back on our feet. Cool? You ready? I'm more than ready, coach. All right, then let's go. Let's get it. Nice, 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 nice. Good. Yeah, breathe. Breathe. Take a breather. That's it. Okay, remember, stamina plays a part on the ground, too. Right? If you have more stamina than your opponent, you'll have a way easier time stacking takedowns, escaping submissions, and getting back on your feet. And it's okay to take your time when you're on the ground. Okay? You don't have to move right away. You don't have to always be doing something. I got it. Pace myself. Same thing like it's on the feet. Exactly, exactly. Now let's work on offensive grappling. Let's take the fight to the ground and look for finishing opportunities. Got it? Loud and clear. Show me something. Okay, good work, good work. You can hold your own in the grappling department. It's good to know. Hey, you don't need to panic when you get taken down. Okay, you can use short strikes to distract your opponent. That can give you the advantage when attempting a submission. All right, just remember, watch your- Watch my stamina. I got it, coach. Okay, okay, okay. Well, I hope so. This next opponent we got lined up definitely has some grappling ability. You can grapple defensively, try to keep it standing, or you can try and beat them at their own game. Up to you. You just be ready for whatever happens. You got it, kid? Yeah. All right. I'll see you there. All right. I'll see you there, coach. Boy, you already know we're going for the KO. We are knockout connoisseurs over here. <laughs> You ready to fight? Ready? 
Ready? Let's fight! Oh. Hey, hey, another win, huh? How you feel, kid, huh? Man, I'm feeling great, coach. Feeling so good after that last one. But you know, just some shit I gotta work on. <laughs> but I'm excited to get after it. Hey, I hate to break it to you, kid, but there will never stop being things to work on, right? And just when you think that there isn't, maybe that's when you should think about hanging them up, right? But you're right, there are some things to work on. So get ready, meet me at the cage. Sure thing, coach. All right. Okay, guys. Good, good, good. Okay, kid. Gonna do some harder sparring today. All right? Striking, grappling, it's all open. But I want us to get used to working through tougher situations and making smarter decisions. Okay. For example, let's say you take a few shots or you get wobbled by a big one. First instinct might be to try to even things up as soon as possible. But don't listen to that. Okay? Think of it like, like a video game. Every time that health bar gets low, I don't want you wading into action, right? Give yourself extra time to recover. Because in this game, every time that health bar gets low, it recovers a little less. You got me? Yeah, it makes sense. So the more often you get hurt, you start getting hurt more easily. That's it, that's it. Wait, you play video games though? Ha <laughs> ha, yeah, yeah. So what'd you think of that last UFC game? Uh, it was all right, you know, you know, I like the career mode, but hey, this ain't a video game, this is life. Okay, so let's focus up, let's get this work in. That's so good. Right, let's see some magic.
nice work, nice work, work nice my work. Ass. Yo, how'd you feel? It was good. Yeah? I had fun. I love it. That's what I want to hear. Now, against high level opponents, it's even more important to give yourself time to recover. Right? Think about that with this next opponent we got lined up. It's the toughest one so far. But hey, you're more than ready, and you got me as a coach. So. <laughs> Davis MMA, all the way. All the way. All right, get some rest. I'll see you there. All right, I'll see you there, coach. Sensation. How you feeling, kid? Feeling ready, coach. Feeling dangerous. You are dangerous, and you are ready. Ready for one more pearl of wisdom from your coach. Watch your opponent. Sounds obvious, right? But I mean, pay attention to what they're doing. How do they attack? How do they defend? What combinations do they have? If you can learn their patterns, you can take away their weapons and make things a lot easier for yourself. Same reason I shouldn't be too predictable with my own attacks. So they can't get a read on me. Wow. I'm not ready to say this is one of those student becomes a master moments. That was close, kid. That was real close. You're definitely ready? Let's go get that money. Let's go. You ready to fight? Ready? ready? Let's fight! <laughs> Social media sensation. Yeah, you. You know, it's weird how sometimes shit gets reposted on the internet. You see that? Coach, that was months ago. You already know I'm done with that. Yeah, yeah I know. Look who posted it. 
Dana White? No, that's gotta be a fake account. Why would I be following a fake Dana White? What the fuck? That's crazy. You know what's even crazier? I got a call from the UFC, and they offered you a spot on Dana White's Contender Series. You were probably already on their radar, but this popping back up definitely didn't hurt. The Contender Series? Are you kidding me right now? I wouldn't kid about that. This is real. And a friend of mine reached out to me and said that we can train at the UFC Performance Institute. So pack your bag, Sensation. We're going to Vegas, no. baby. Oh my God, Vegas! Yeah. I can't believe this. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Uh -huh. That was just Forrest Griffin right there. <laughs> yeah, kid. I know who Forrest Griffin is. UFC Hall of Famer. Listen, you're going to see a lot of fighters here, okay? Oh, man, I hope. <laughs> yeah. So what you think, kid? Huh? Whoa. Yeah. I mean, coach, this place, it's amazing. Right? Coach D. Hey! So glad you could make it. Thank you. <laughs> Couldn't pass up this opportunity. Of course, so this must be your latest contender, right? Kid sensation! I'm Valentina. Nice to meet you. I, I know you. I mean, like, I've seen you before. Uh, I mean, I've seen you <laughs> fight, obviously. Uh, what I meant to say was, it's a pleasure meeting you. Nice to it's meet you, too. Nice to meet you. Hey, you, you can let go of my hand. <laughs> A lot of energy is this one, right? Yeah, well, we're gonna make good use of it so here. So cringe. This place is incredible. <laughs> oh, yeah. This is the best training facility in the world. There is no place like it. You hear that, kid? Don't go messing up this it's place true. like you do mine. <laughs> you, you know she's one of the goats, right? She'll kick your ass, hunt me down, and kick mine, too. Okay? You good? You all right? <laughs> okay. Go get ready. See ya. Yes, coach. No problem. <laughs> so, Valentina, the therapy pool. Think I might be able to get in here? I think we can figure out something. Yes. <laughs> 10,000 to show, 10,000 to win. Right, nice and fluid. Good, good. Good snaps. All right. All right, champ, all right. We had a great training camp. You couldn't be more ready for this fight, okay? Just remember everything that we've been working on. Watch your stamina, offense and defense. Read your opponent, okay? And stay cool when the shit gets hot. And listen to your coach. <laughs> hey, hey, she said it. Sorry to interrupt you guys, just wanted to wish you both good luck. Hope everything went well at the It was incredible, honestly. Thank you so much. Yes, indeed, and we hope to come back again sometime. Of course, but win your fight first, okay? <laughs> good luck. I was just about to tell you that. All right, how you feeling? You ready to put on a show? 100% coach. All right, coach. it's yours. Let's go get it. Let's go. Here we go. It's kind of cool to see your name up on the... Uh... The locker there.
You ready to fight? You ready? Do it.
down. Holy cow. Jeez. You ready to fight? Ready. Look at all that blood. Do it. That sucks. wfa in ufc5 thanks everybody for uh checking this out if you like the video make sure to give me a, a sub and um if you like the video like it everything every little thing helps um but i'm league of mediocrity i'm signing out and i will see you guys next time bye